Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are slowly getting into Japan. We have pushed their border away, like we've pushed their front line. We're getting into the back, starting to get rid of all their fort, uh, all of their naval like um, bases and things. Once we get Tokyo, they should surrender. It'll be great. Oh, we need national focus. Destroyer effort. That's actually our last national focus. I wonder if you get anything for getting them all. Who knows? Anyway, we're basically micromanaging our army right now. We are saying, they're saying go to this province and this province and this province. And just trying to, um, like, we've kind of given up on front lines. We're just, for the time being, we're, we'll, we're avoiding front lines. It seems to work better when it's, uh, more structured. Like, when you're, when you, like, it works better in, kind of, Europe, basically. It doesn't work so well on islands, the front line thing. It works alright, though, but it just doesn't work as well. Okay, cool. Yes, taking all of these cities over here. And basically the plan is going to be to create a circle around Tokyo and then ruin their lives. That's where we're going with it. Maybe we want to take this uh, other um, place up here as well. Maybe we just want to go straight in and take this city up here. Just uh, without really worrying about it too much. Let the US deal with the rest of the uh, country. Okay. Cool. And we're pushing forward. Oh, we have three military factories. Uh, let's put you guys on... Maybe on this. There we go. Oh, those will be military factories we captured there. Oh, okay, yeah. 99. And we got pushed back. Well, I guess we're going back to front line plan. Uh, front line uh, with an offensive line that looks like this. And then just tell me when you're ready for the plan. They say they're ready straight away, but I don't believe them. Yeah, he's thinking about it. US, you should have your armies all along this border and pushing. I really don't understand what they're doing. Anyway. That's fine. We can hold them off. Let's get our entrenchment bonus here. Uh, anything else we really need to worry about? Not really. Oh, we uh, got some raiders. Uh, we got some uh, convoys with our raiders. So yeah, we're just lowering the amount of supplies they have. It's great. Everything will be fine in a minute. Uh, no, again, not too much else to do. We could bring our other 24-man army over here. Like We could probably bring them in a naval invasion up here or something. Um... I mean, it's an option. It's definitely an option. Is it one we want to go with? I don't know. Probably not. That's fine. Um, yeah. Let's hold him off. He thinks he's ready for the plan, so you know what? You, you seem pretty confident about this plan. We'll push forward. That should allow us an ac some access to Tokyo. If you actually go for your plan. Mm, are any of these units even thinking about moving? Not really. Um, I'll tell them to move. There we go. That fixed it. Now they're thinking about moving. There we go. We'll just move into this province. Great. And uh, we can just keep doing this. Move into the next province. And then maybe create our front line back here. Just try and uh, block off everything. That works. So create a line across the country. Um, research slot is available. Uh, let's research some... I think we use field hospitals. Let's research some of that. Right. Uh, clear your orders. I want you to create a front line on this side. There you go. Don't really care about the other side. And then the US will take Tokyo and we'll be happy. Uh, I suppose we should create the front line on the other side as well. There we go. Now we can uh, see what happens. The US should be able to do this. I mean, there is no reason realistically that they should have any problems here. We're blocking off supply everywhere. 
I don't know. I mean, they could just give up. That is the other option, but that's fine. That's what they want to go with. Um, yeah, and then we just have those Japanese armies there. Netherlands are going to start pushing in up, up, up the top here, and that's going to block off their naval bases. Then they're going to have this army that's just isolated. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And that's the last person in the war, I believe. Um, yeah, it's the last person in the war. They're pretty much ready to surrender. Like, they're almost there. They're um, not too far off. We have no national focus we can get. There's actually nothing we can take. We're just done. We have finished all national focuses. We are very focused. Right. Um, how you feeling, US? You've come to join this uh, front up here. Okay, in which case... No. Um, unit. I want you to get rid of... Um, get rid of that order. Never mind. Uh, get rid of that order. There we go. Then units. really wish they just cancelled the movement. I need to create an offensive line that goes uh, like this. Yeah, okay. That, that'll work. We'll just uh, work, we'll let them work out what's going on. The US are pushing up uh, that way, so what we're going to do is we're going to push back down. Okay. Once they work out where they want all their units to be. You ready? He says he's ready. Go. Start moving. Here it goes. There are no units assigned to this order. Uh, control click to add these units. There we go. You ready? Advanced machine tools is done. Uh, we're going to get the next one. Gives us even more pr production efficiency cap. You know what? We'll just tell them what to do. I don't know why they've just uh, decided that we're not going to do anything. Anymore. I think it's the multiple borders are kind of confusing them. Don't really understand what to do. But we can tell them what to do. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, it's probably the multiple different countries from different factions working together. They don't understand it. Right. Push in here. I would like you to attack Tokyo. They should surrender after we take Tokyo, in theory. That would be the plan, anyway. 97... 98... Nope, stick in 97. It's the number you've decided to go for. 98, there we go. There's only one defending division in uh, Tokyo, so... 99. And one more day. And... We... Have taken Tokyo. The fall of Tokyo. Uh, American forces have entered Tokyo and the US War Department recently announced an end to major combat operations in the city. Fighting was reported as heavy, particularly in the vicinity of the Imperial Palace, which was defended by fanatical members of the Imperial Guard, even though the Emperor is believed to have left the city before the American assault began. With the fall of Tokyo, experts predict that the organized resistance in the rest of the Japanese home islands will soon crumble. Peace negotiations are, negotiations are expected to begin shortly, unless Japanese hardliners convince the Emperor to continue to fight to the death. Significant development. So, how you feeling, Japan? Oh, you're, you're, you're definitely not feeling great. Go, let's go take another city. Let's just keep going. All the way through. They, they're, they're pretty much done. 99. Another city taken. How you feeling, Japan? Mm, yeah, you're still not feeling great, huh? Well, let's, let's block off your defense and see how uh, good you're feeling now. Surrounded on all sides, uh, this should be a fairly easy win for us if anybody else attacks. The flanking bonus alone will probably uh, do it. There we go. More units are attacking. And we should easily win that. Well, soon, anyway. Yeah, the number's going up. And that's all that matters. How long does the record's gonna last? Another seven days? Yeah. Okay, cool. 
And that should be the end of Japan. I keep saying that, but this one really should be the end of Japan. What's the biggest bit? Yeah, they actually don't have anything. Oh, they have this little island over here. Okay. There we go. Um, how much do we have left, Japan? Uh, how willing are you to fight? Mm, yeah. It controls 12% uh, of victory points and will capitulate when it has 10% or less. Okay. Let's go back to the port. We're going to start planning a naval invasion. Um, let's uh, go plan a naval invasion. From... Um, where are we? I guess we have to do it from Tokyo to over here. Uh, nope. Yeah, start planning that. Our naval invasions haven't gone the best, but it's fine. Let's uh, wait for all of our units to get over there. Um, oh, we let's wait for our units to get over there. All ten of them, because the eleventh one isn't allowed to come. Here we go. Getting over. Japan are at 97 still. Yeah. We have to wait uh, 63 days before we can do this. And we don't have a... Uh, we don't have intel. So. Let's get some intel on the East China Sea. So we'll get all of our air people who are over here. I want you... To, uh, well, let's just get all these guys. Can I bounding box them? No. Alright, select all. Um, I just, at least I just want to cancel all missions in the, in the area. There we are. Then all of you guys, I want you to go over to the East China Sea. Uh, I want, oh, uh, do we have to wait for them to all to head back or something? Or are they just too far away? They might be too far away. Um, do we have any air bases over here? We have this one. And zero airplanes. Um, no, we'll wait just a minute. Air wings with no mission. There we are. Can't go to East China Sea. Uh, you're all too far away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, do we have any... Anywhere? Any of our allies have air bases? No, I mean, we can make one, but... Okay, I guess we'll just leave our air wings then in the uh, coast of Japan. That really wasn't what I meant to do. Um, select all. Cancel missions in this area. All of you guys. I want you to go to the coast of Japan. Nope. See, Japan is the best I can do. Fine, assign you all. Um, that's fine. We can keep them there. Our boats should be different, though. Our boats will be able to assign. Um, where are they? Oh, we also have these guys who are doing other things, but that's fine. Um, boats. There we go. There are boats. Slight doll. Go to the East China Sea. Slight doll. Go to the East China Sea. Cool. Hopefully, you're feeling a little bit better about this invasion now. Mm, not really, but maybe we will in the future. Japan are still at 97. Okay. Uh, how much is this worth? Any way of telling? This is worth 15 victory points. How many victory points do they have overall? Who knows? Who knows? Japan only have two divisions worth of troops left, though, which is uh, interesting. Um, I thought we had naval people working in this area. Um, so what I do to cancel their mission is I say port. Like, something like, go to a port. Oh, I see we have some more people who don't have any mission. They can do it. Uh, you guys, I want you to... Patrol the East China Sea. There we go. Soon we will have intel. Probably around the same time that we have uh, our invasion prep done. Ground support integration is done. Let's get the next one, which... Uh, Naval strike torpedo tactics. 
Uh, or we can go for some like battlefield support. Uh, we can actually go for all of these. There we go. No problem. And we'll just see if we can get our naval invasion to happen. Japan are still not wanting to surrender. They're really not into that. Mm, okay, okay. Still not entirely sure how to do radar, so we'll leave it. Um, just improve everything that we can, naturally. That's fine. Uh, what are we missing intel off? We just lack intel to dare? Okay, fine, whatever. US, you want to go take over here? This seems like a good place for you guys to go. Uh, is that all that's left? Yeah, it's just this bit down here and then that the, those islands. And there's a few like random islands around the place. Okay, cool. Well, that's fine. How long till naval invasion? Another 35 days. Cool. Um, yeah. Do we have anything else we got? Do we have any divisions we can build? Not really. Or none that we can uh, train. Oh, that's got 0% training chance. Is that because we have zero manpower? I would guess so. Um, upgrades are almost done, actually. Okay, or almost at full capacity. Oh, we, we filled our need here. So we can actually take away, like, maybe most of that. And put it into artillery and then give us another couple here. There we go. Still not a lot, but it, we'll see how it goes. When they're repaired, it might work. Uh, another 24 days, 23 days till this invasion, which may or may not be able to happen. Uh, you guys should probably also be. Uh, so we have like saying I want you to go into a base, yeah, and then I actually just want you to be purely in this place. I want you to do search and destroy here. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. Field hospital is done. Let's get logistics company. There we go. Something. Uh, we last. Oh, we last. Intel, Coastal Japan, and Maritina region. Oh, okay. Oh, it's this bit where we don't have any. There we are. Is that it? Yeah, okay, we're cool. Now it's just um, 19 days. Till our invasion. It should be all we need to do. US forces have worked out that actually attacking this bit here. We had vision of it for a very short amount of time, but they are starting to build up there. Cool, 15 days, 14 days. Just keep going. Are uh, you still 97% Japan? 97%, yep. Cool. Uh, another 11 days to go, 10 days. Perfect. Nine. Eight, maybe. Yep. There we go. Start. I think the game might be slowing down slightly, but that's expected. I mean, at the start of the game, we had very little going on, so make you go quicker, I think. And uh, yeah, anything else really in the world to worry about? Not really. I like how the Soviet Union went and claimed that bit of the German Reich in the middle of France. It's like this. This is ours. Obviously. Another day, and go. See how the naval invasion goes. There we go. We're just moving along. It's gonna take another couple of hours, another couple of days. Um, yeah. Depending on how this goes, I might just keep the episode going till we end the war. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna arrive in a day. At in our at our destination. There we go. What was that? Oh, that's where we have lack of supplies. That's fine. Um, that's our front line. Um, that's our offensive line. Tell me when you're ready. You say you're ready. Just do it then. Just do it then. It's like, well, let's give him a little hint. Just 
go over there. Four days to get to Naha, which will give us the victory points that will allow us to win the uh, war. Hopefully. Without any nukes dropped, which is um, unfortunate. We were researching those. Uh, we're still quite a bit off. I assume that nobody else is closer. Because we can, uh, we did as much as we could there. Japan. 100% towards capitulation. Okay. Japan has capitulated. Joseph Stalin has announced that the cowardly Japanese nation could no longer withstand the pressure from, um, unwilling pressure from Soviet forces throughout the country. The Japanese government chose to flee the country, has gone into exile. The main forces have capitulated. The Soviet Union is now in control of the home area. Though uh, the war of what remains against the Axis continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all the common turn. Uh, does it continue elsewhere? Uh, capitulated, 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 capitulated. All of these guys are capitulated. Um, does that not mean we've won? I would argue that if everybody in the game has given up, we have won. Right? Um, yeah. I'm just checking there's not someone I missed. No, we've won. We'll just, I assume, wait. There we go. Treaty of Zarya. Oh, we get to see how this treaty thing works. So we have um, some more scores to demand things. Okay. Uh, so we have to make our, our demand first, right? Uh, we have 152 victory points to spend on things we want. Vichy France, we can't have for some. Wait, we can't have Vichy France. So we're basically just claiming everything that's kind of uh, everything that's then of that color green. We're just claiming. Okay. So that I guess people took their turns first, and that's what's happening here. Uh, well, what do we want? All right. So this is what's happened so far. Soviet has liberated a couple of people, turned some people into Soviet states. Okay, it's I. Siam and uh, Minkuko. They've then puppeted Japan. So Japan is basically the Soviet. Like it's controlled by the Soviets, I think. And they puppeted Turkey. They've made Korea a satellite. Okay. Uh, fine. Then they have puppeted Bulgaria, Luxembourg, Slovakia, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, uh, Siam, more Czechoslovakia uh, and Belgium then the United Kingdom changed, made Romania become a democracy China has taken some land from Italy it's taken some land from the Netherlands it's taken some more land from the Netherlands okay what do we want um can we have I think we want Italy right how much do things cost? Take all Italy states. That's a little bit too much. We can make them our puppet. Um, yeah. We can definitely set up Italy as our puppet. What about uh, German Reich? Oh, we don't quite... We could try and puppeting the German Reich. Hmm. Or we can create satellites. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I say we just take we take Italy as a puppet. We'll have that, and then we will also. What does conquer do? Oh, that just allows us to say like we want that. No, uh, I don't want that. That's fine. Um, a puppet of the German Reich as well. Oh, we have to we have to choose provinces. I see. There's a hundred per pro per province to puppet. Oh no, it's first to take. Never mind. I don't want to take any land. Cancel. Cancel. I don't want your land. No. Want a puppet? I want two puppets. Do we have enough for that? Um. Oh, so we can't have we can't have Italy as a puppet. I think we want the German Reich as a puppet. What do we want to do to Italy? Um. Well, let's, um, 
I don't know. We can maybe just actually take some, just to, uh, take something else, like the Netherlands. We can take the Netherlands. Um, yeah, if we take the Netherlands as well, it means we get this and all of that. There we go. No. Okay. What sort of? How much do, are we allowed? Um. I, right. What's this say? Oh, it's our turn to make demands. We end at a hundred. What like what else could we take? How much? We have a hundred and five. Is that how much we have? I'm trying to figure it out. If I remove the puppet German Reich, we have 152 exactly. Okay. So I would like to puppet uh, German Reich, and I would like to take uh, the Netherlands. We can. I guess we have like. 151.5 or something. Okay, cool. Romania, we can't do anything to because they're a democracy now. Um. Well, what else do we want? Independent states of Croatia? I don't know. Yugoslavia? That's kind of there. Ish, isn't it? Somewhere over there. Um. Or we can just take some like Albania. Or Libya. I don't know. Uh, this is interesting. Let's take... Um, no, we'll take Albania. We'll take the German Reich and Albania. No, we can't. Oh, we would lower your score too far below the score of the next participant. Oh, okay. What's the score of the next participant? Um, Slovakia. What was your score, Slovakia? Uh, Slovakia. Oh, our next participant is the United States. I don't know. Let's take the German Reich as a puppet. There we go. That's, that's what I wish to have. Okay, so turn two in progress. What happened is... So in turn one, let's, let's finish turn one. I want to see what happens. So, we took the German Reich as a puppet. United States made Italy a democracy. I made Poland a democracy. Sweden made Netherlands a democracy. France took Savoy. And they liberated the Kingdom of Libya. And then... Sinkiang took uh, Lithuania. Okay. In turn two... Um, the Soviets took a satellite of Yugoslavia, Austria, the independent states of Croatia, Ethiopia, and the uh, United Kingdom liberated... Kingdom of Liberia and Albania. How many points do we have? 152, it says at the end. Or does that mean we would have 100? That means we have 152 that we would be able to take next turn. Okay, I, I see how this works. So it's basically saying, I don't actually see how it works, but I, I get the concept is that we could get more points if we wait a turn, if we were after something in particular. So oh, I could just take like Vichy France. Because the United States have no points. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take that. Cool. Whole bunch of things were taken in turn three. And, uh, what do we want? It's nothing else. Um, cool. Okay, in turn three, Russia decided to take Siberia and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and now we just have to choose what we want to take. I don't think there's actually anything really... I guess we just got single conquests to do. Um, What do we want? Uh, I guess we could start taking the Italian islands. Um, So I want this one. And then can we take Sicily as well? And then how, how much do we have? It'll be a difference between us and the next person, right? That's what he was saying. Uh, next person... I don't know. Maybe is, is that right? Uh, maybe I got that wrong. Oh, we appear to be able to take an awful lot now. Oh, we can't take that. Yeah, that looks good. We'll take all of that. And then turn four, Russia took some more things. Uh, let's just take, like, northern Italy as well. And, uh, we can't take that. Uh, we actually can't take anything? Yeah, I guess we'll pass. Uh, turn five, um, we can take Piedmont. Yep. Uh, we can just say we're done. 
No, um, I'm fine just continuing for, like, for a while. Like, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take some more of this. Uh, I guess we'll pass. Then we'll take it. Then we'll pass. Then we'll take it. Then we'll pass. Then we'll take it. That seems like a reasonable amount. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Done. Peace conference is over. Calculating effects. Cool. Uh, pause. And that's everything's been taken. Look at that. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff has changed. Look at the world. This is what we ended up with. Cool. whole bunch of stuff that we haven't quite uh, done yet. Uh, we're, we're actually going to leave all of that because I'm just going to end uh, the series here. We have finished our wars. Um, I was planning on maybe doing a uh, like attack on the allies, but that seems like it would be more of a Cold War thing. And the game will only last, I think, for another three years or something like that. So maybe even another year. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching and thank you for watching the series and I will uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.